we all deserve love because we're all amazing. We're a bit sometimes, but that's just being human. Okay. Oh my God. Let's see what we've got here. Should I start from the top? Yeah. Okay. I'm a bit ah, it's me doing a handstand. I was in the gym. I was going to. Um, what the? I just feel quite proud of myself. I'm 45 years young, and uh, I look quite good doing a little handstand, don't I? I have this thing sometimes. I, I feel like I just want to be upside down. I think it's just from years of doing gymnastics. Nothing embarrassing yet. Let's just wait and see. <laughs> this is me. Is Ickle Sporty Spice. I think we were in Bali. We've done a, it was like a big fan, like prize to come and spend a few days in Bali with the Spice Girls. They don't do things like that anymore, do they? I'm a bit skinny, a bit skinny. I don't think I was too bad at that point. Um, probably quite exhausted and missing home. I think I was enjoying life at that moment in time. That was a good time. Could have done the hairdresser. <laughs> It's really funny, I was thinking about this photograph the other day. So I released an album in 2016 and um, we did a photo shoot with a fantastic um, photographer. And I just thought oh, I looked rather amazing. So we had put it on my Instagram and I got a bit of stick actually because I've been quite vocal about um, like the over sexualization of young girls because a lot of pop artists now you know, there's a lot of flesh reveals, it's quite provocative, a lot of the dancing that they do, and in fact, a lot of the lyrics that they use as well. But, you know, I'm not really sharing anything, I'm not being like sexy or anything, I'm just like going, look at my body! Celebrate. When you look like that, get it out. It doesn't always look like that. Ah, a little sport relief moment. I think that was, I'm just looking at the t-shirt, that was 2014, I think. Joe Wiley was doing a challenge, a spot relief challenge. I think she was on a treadmill for like 24 hours or something ridiculous. So I went to hang out with her for an hour. I think that was kind of my triathlon days. I was probably less muscular and a bit leaner. Um, but yeah, I like my hair, is what I want to say. My little girl would like me to have long hair like that again. Right, let's have a look. This was in Brazil really recently. We were in Sao Paulo. Post the Spice Girls tour, I've been touring with Sink the Pink. And Sink the Pink is this fantastic creative collective. It's a club night here in London. These are my gorgeous drag queens. I have been lucky enough to tour. We've got a great show. I sing Spice Girl songs, I sing solo songs, and uh, we do some covers as well. And my gorgeous drag queens are my dancers. But yeah, being a lot closer to this community and working a lot closer with people from the Pride community, I've learned a hell of a lot, so I feel very grateful for these beautiful people. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, fluffy bikini top. Sack of a stylist. I think actually this was a shoot I did in about 99. Check out my hair. We were doing promo stuff for Never Be The Same Again, which was a song for my first album, Northern Star. It was in fact my first UK number one, so it ended up being a very, very important song for my career. And I loved having short hair. I really did. Maybe not so much, but it's just so much easier. Yay! Ah, oh, my little spices. We had such an amazing time on that tour. I'm just so proud of us all. We're all mums, we're all still working hard, and we're still rocking it in our 40s and jumping around to wannabe. I think a few years ago, I probably thought that wouldn't happen, but I think we pulled it off. Am I deluded? <laughs> I worked really hard before the Spice Girl shows because I wanted to be like an uber version of Sporty Spice. So I worked really hard in the gym and I was like really smart with my nutrition and I just got to a place and I was really happy with my, my body comp on that tour. It's hard to maintain though, it's a little bit boring. Didn't drink for six months. What's that about? Okay, what's this one? Oh, another little Sporty. So this is Sabi there, second video. Look, a tattooless arm. I love that. 
I'd quite like to be tattooless. I do regret my tattoos, but I've got them now, so it's tough, isn't it? I'm not saying anything negative, I think very positive. Very positive book, so let's see what this one is. Oh, Rocking Kappa. You're welcome, Kappa. You're welcome that now you're sending loads of stuff in Urban Outfitters and all the kids are wearing it. I look quite cute though, don't I? Tickle me with my little wonky teeth. Got them fixed, don't she? What's that one? Hey! This is a good moment. This was when I did Blenheim Triathlon and my goal at London, which is like my, my first triathlon, was to do sub 130 and I didn't manage it before I hit 40. So when I went back into triathlon post 40, I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to do that now. And I actually went on after Blenheim to do London and to get a PB. I think I did it in 128.05. And I was like, I think I was like the second fastest woman in my age category. Okay, here's the last one. It hasn't been that embarrassing. Are you saving the best to last? On. No, you've been very kind to me. You've picked all nice ones where I look right fit. You missed out the chubby year, didn't I? I was on tour with Sink the Pink. I think we were backstage filling. Hamburg? Where was it? Cologne. These are the kind of pictures you have to keep that new. I worked really, really hard leading up to the spy shows. And, you know, it's kind of, I don't know how long this body is going to exist looking like this. So I'm very proud that I've achieved that. I feel very strong, but still very feminine. Thank you, Women's Health. You are very kind to me. There's much worse pictures online that you could have picked. 